Hello and welcome back. In today's data-driven world, integrating various data sources is crucial for efficient decision making and workflow optimization. This video delves into the innovative process of extracting data from emails and posting it directly to Dataverse using advanced AI technology. We will explore how AI can be leveraged to automate the extraction of key information from emails, reducing manual efforts and minimizing error. By the end of this video, you will understand the step-by-step -step process, the tools involved and the significant benefits of integrating AI with Dataverse, transforming how businesses manage and utilize their email data. Imagine you got this email coming into your orders inbox. It contains things like order number, shipping date, order date, quantity, the different items detail, and the company detail where you're buying this order from. If you want to automate this information into a Dataverse table, you can use the Power Automate AI features to automatically pull this data out of the email and push it to the Dataverse table. So let's go ahead and create the Power Automate flow. I will navigate to make.powerautomate.com. From the left hand menu, you will click on create. I will create an automated cloud flow. We want this flow to be triggered as soon as an email arrived in that orders inbox. For now, I will use my own personal inbox. So I will click on automated cloud flow. I will give this flow a name. I will just call it process orders data. And the trigger for that flow will be when an email arrives, we can use the version three when a new email arrived. And then I will click on create. If I select on this trigger, by default, it is connected to this email address. But by all means, you can click on change connection and change it to a specific email address where you are receiving these orders. Next, I will create an action. I will click on plus sign, add an action. We will need an AI action from the AI builder. If I click on see more, I will see all the actions available from the AI. I will select create text with ChatGPT using a prompt. That action we will need here. I will select that. I need to select a predefined prompt or I can create my own. So none of these predefined prompt satisfy what I'm looking for. I'm looking to process the information from the email in terms of the order title, order number, date was order and the company information. So I need to specify a new custom prompt. So I will click on new custom prompt. First thing we need to do is we need to give this prompt a name. I'm just calling it order email processing. And before we insert a prompt, let's define some input. So input will be a string which will extract from the email to this prompt. So I will select this input, add an input and I will call it email body. So that's the input. In terms of sample data, if I go back to that email and if I copy this data and paste it here, so that will be our sample data to do any testing within the Power Automate. And in terms of prompt, I will say it extract order number, order date, delivery date, total cost, but only numeric values and number of items, company name, phone number and email from and this input will be provide. So we'll click on insert and then email body from this text. What also we're going to say is output this data into a JSON format so we can easily parse that JSON and put the data into Dataverse. So I will say output in JSON format. So the reason why we're saying specifically the only number value from the total cost, if I look at the email, it contains special characters like currency. We want it to move this data into a text column so we don't want any dollar or pound sign next to it. So that's why we are saying to this prompt specifically that only numeric value you need to extract from this total cost. And then we are saying the number of items. We're not getting any detail of each item, but hopefully it has few items. So you can see one wireless Bluetooth headphone and one portable charger and one smart home speaker. So there are three items were included in this order. So hopefully the AI should be able to detect that there are three items bought in this order. Hopefully we will get a number of items bought. If I click on test prompt now, we have provided a sample data already. I will click on test prompt. 
it will take the sample data, read this prompt and give us the result. So this is our result. It is giving us order number from the email, order date, delivery date, total cost without any dollar or pound sign, number of item 3 which is correct, the company name and then the phone number and the email of that company. So we have all this data in a JSON format. Perfect. This is what we wanted. So we'll take this information and we will create a table in Dataverse based on this information as well. Because when this prompt will give us a result, we need to pass that information to the Dataverse. I will copy this prompt response and I will go to make.powerapps.com and then from the left hand menu, I will click on tables and then I will click on new table drop down. I will create new table. I will click start from blank. We will give this a name. We will just call it orders data. We have few columns to create. The primary column we can use this as order number column. So I will take this column name here and I will rename this column to order number. I will click on edit column. I will just call it order number and then I will click on update. Now we have the order number column. To create rest of the column, I can just copy all this information apart from the order number and pass it to the copilot. So if I go back to the table, on the right hand menu, I can say create these columns and I can provide all the column name and the sample data so it can define the type of that column and then I can click on send. So it will send that information to the copilot. Copilot will determine which type of column and how many columns need to create it will create all those columns in the dataverse for us all right so we can see the order date delivery date total cost number of items company name phone number and email all these columns are created with some sample data already i can just say to copilot remove sample data from table and click send now you can see it has removed the sample data from table we are happy with the table structure i can click on save and exit and remember our table name is orders that I can now click on save and exit. Don't ask me again and click save and exit. Now we have a database table ready where we're going to pass that information from the email using AI feature within the Power Automate. Now you can see in the Dataverse orders data table is created. If I click on it, I can see the table is there with all the columns. Now let's go back to the Power Automate. We are happy with this prompt results. So we are happy with the response it has provided. It has extracted all the information we needed from the email. I can click on save custom prompt. All right, so custom prompt is saved. Just make sure that the custom prompt you have created is selected, which is the case here. In the email body, this is the dynamic value we pass to the prompt. So the email body, we will provide a dynamic information, which is from this email, the body of that email. So it can then run the prompt against this email body to extract the information. We are done with this step. Next, next we are going to pass the JSON so we can get the data and then we can put into the database table. So I will click on plus sign, add an action. The data operation we need is parse JSON action. So I will select that. In terms of content, we will get the dynamic value from the previous step, which is create text with GPT using a prompt we need to get the text value it will contain the output of that text which we have seen in the sample output i will click on text and in terms of schema we need to get the schema value from this text outcome so if we go to this step before and if we go to edit this prompt and then we can test this one more time and then we can take that sample data to generate the schema for our past JSON action. So on the right hand side, we have already a sample data in there. So I can just click on test prompt. All right, so we have received the prompt response. This is the information we need. So we can just select this and copy this information, close this prompt. And then if I go back to pass JSON method, in terms of schema, we can click on use sample payload to generate schema. And then I will paste that information here and then I will click on done. It have created a schema for us based on the sample data. So we don't have to create this schema manually. We are done with this step now. So we're going to add this information to the Dataverse table. 
So we have just created that table there, but we were editing the flow when we created the table. So we will save this flow here and just close it and open it again. So we can see the database table. I will click on save. The flow is saved, but with a warning. The warning is that when you're using chat GPT prompt action does not have a content approval action after it. So it is recommended whenever you're using AI to convert some data and add it to a dataverse or SharePoint to have a, a manual approval process where someone go in and check if the data is correct, then say approve and then it will process that information. For this demo purpose, I will keep it simple, but for real life scenario, go ahead and add an approval process in the middle. You can make sure that some human have looked into the data before it is saved into the Dataverse table, for example. I will go back and close this flow. I will click on edit the flow again. So hopefully this time we can see the orders data table. After the parse JSON, I will click on plus sign and add an action. From the Dataverse, I can click on see more to see all the action. The first action in that list is add a new row. And this is the action we need. So I will select that action. First thing we will need to do is choose a table in Dataverse. So I will search for orders data. We can see orders data table here. And then next we need to provide order number. I can click on this dynamic property and you can see the parse JSON have all the information extracted now. I can click on see more to see all the properties. I will select order number here. And then I will click on show all properties. And now we can fill in all these other properties. For example, company name, I will select dynamic value. And then I will select the company name, body company name, delivery date. I will select the body delivery date for the email address. I will select if I click on see more, I can see body email and then number of items. I can click on dynamic value and body number of items order date again we can get it dynamically from the past json data and two more column we need to fill in here is the phone number again i can get the dynamic value of that phone number body phone and the total cost is here so we can get the total cost of that order so body total cost so we have filled in all the information we needed to capture in the dataverse table i can click on save okay we can see the same warning here to add a content approval but let's ignore that for now i will click on save so the flow is saved let's test this flow now so i have this email let me send this email to myself i will click on send if i go back to the flow main page click back icon here a new email is arrived in my inbox it will hopefully kick off the flow and process this information to the dataverse table so we can see from the flow history, the flow ran successfully. If I click on the history of that flow to see the different steps. So email arrived. It has generated an output based on that AI prompt. And then we have passed the data into JSON and we can see that this is the content of the JSON and that's the data we got as an output. And then the next step is it created a new row in the Dataverse table. So if I go back to orders data table in Dataverse and if I refresh this screen, you can see a new record is created in the orders data table in Dataverse with order number, date created, order date, delivery date, total cost, company name, etc. Thank you for joining me on this journey of leveraging AI to extract data from emails and seamlessly post it to Dataverse. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insight and practical knowledge on how to implement this powerful integration in your workflows. By adopting these AI-driven solutions, you can significantly enhance your data management capabilities, streamline processes, and drive more informed decision within your organization. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my latest videos. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. I will be happy to assist you. Until next time, keep innovating.